Fifi Fashion Week creates a professional platform for designers to display, sell, and expand their brands. I got my start from just with my grandmother teaching me how to make and design and I always love resort wear because I, I'm a beach girl, I love the beach. I'm from the amazing island of St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm definitely inspired by the leopard and the animal print this season because it's a huge trend and what we're looking for is to actually diversify and bring more of that and the brighter colors in different animal prints. Call it vintage elegance. I'm be showing some suits, some tuxedos, a little bit of um, the accessories, trying to really highlight things and and some of the details in my suit and my work. I'm splashing a couple of young ladies in my my collection as well of all men. So it's going to be a really really nice um, array of I call it vintage elegance, um, high sophistication and very very highly made design suits. I like beautiful things. Like I like colors. I like art. And so what I try to do is to try to take some of that influence and put it into a garment, so that the garment and the model is like a walking piece of art. I do a lot of motorcycle-inspired uh, leatherwear uh, for men and women. Um, I have a lot of uh, protective gear, uh, uh, protective motorcycle jackets, but I also do uh, scooter dresses for uh, ladies who ride scooters. And um, I am uh, branching out more into uh, women's wear this year. I incorporate into my leather gear a lot of uh, protective uh, materials uh, into them so they are fully functional if you uh, want to ride a motorcycle or a scooter. Um, but I feel like I add a little stylish uh, edge to each piece and make it uh, modern and uh, stylish and uh, uh, multi-purpose uh, for both uh, casual wear and for motorcycle or scooter riding. Yusef is wearing a three-piece outfit, uh, a wool pants with slight stretch and also there's some zippers in the back of the pants that allow you to wear them with boots in particular. Uh, on top of that he has a black and white bold stripe shirt that zips up in the front and it has in car print in the collar as well as in the lapel. And then we put on the gigantic faux fur vest, which is a swing vest. And that particular piece has the wool in the front and the, uh, the shaggy uh, fur in, with the glistening to it all around. And also has one inside pocket, so of course, so you can carry a wallet. <laughs> That's very important as well. How are you feeling in this garment? <laughs> I feel like I look good. <laughs> I feel like I look real good. This line is inspired by West Africa. I have a background in both Nigeria and Ghana. Uh, and so this line is based upon the richness and the royalty of those two areas. You can expect kings walking the runway. Uh, the kings will be dressed in uh, our base of black and white with all of these colors from Ankara prints, mud cloth from Mali, uh, all of these different uh, elements that are basically a king on vacation. So we have a king walking through on vacation with all the royalty, all the garb for the royalty as well. This is uh, 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 brought from like the, our heritage uh, from India. From our look, uh, you know, we love embroideries, uh, like the uh, carvings and stuff. Uh, so I, I bring my inspiration from uh, architecture. Uh, so uh, I uh, so I love to do embroideries and uh, knit. Uh, so all these dresses are all completely handmade. All these are all hand stitched. We're number one in craftsmanship and uh, culture, embroideries, uh, handmade products. We Indians are pretty much number one. I grew up in rural Louisiana. I'm a rustic girl. I love the country feel. I love, but I love also love fashion. So combining the two together was really simple for me. I looked at nature. Saw some things in nature. I saw the, the browns, the yellows, and then of course I used burlap, which is made from the skins of jute, and I just used that. And I began to it began to evolve from there. I looked at colors. I blend the colors together. Then I wanted a pop of color on some things, and then something that was contrast on other things. So basically, I was looking at nature. I was looking at animals. I was looking at flowers, things from the farm. You know, western things, country things. That's how I got here today. We just got wrapped up with this uh, fashion event. 
it was amazing it was amazing got the designers popping models popping everything popping man i had a i had a blast i've been a model for about four years now and it's been nothing but joy it's a learning experience in every step of the way i've i've grown so much within fashion i modeled for body goddess collection and i actually closed the show with fashion moms Sophia Davis and it was so amazing. And I closed the show for Planet Zero Motorsports for Kenya Smith. How did you get into modeling? I just started in September. Yeah, a friend of mine, she just kind of threw me in there. She was like, hey, we kind of need more tall models. I need a favor and I just did it. Yeah. Did you always the way get the, 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 um, the, the question basketball or modeling? Did you always get that? Yeah, and I actually do play basketball. Sophia has been doing this for many years and I really, really enjoy the show. Every time I come, I'm never, ever disappointed. I want more, <laughs> but it's been really great. Every time Fashion Week is just so much excitement and so much chaos and stress and it's just a big wave of emotions that comes over me and then I'm exhausted and I need to some time to come down, so I think I'm at the place where I'm starting to lose my energy a little bit, but it's been an exciting ride. The designs was outlandish, unbelievable, incredible. I don't want everybody to know that we're going to be doing it again in the summertime. Come July, we're going to be doing it at um, uh, a fashion on the Hudson. And remember, if it ain't fashion, it ain't here. <laughs>